Hi everybody, Mike Pfeiffer. Um, yesterday I came out to the to the uh, Buick '98 Buick Riviera. Could be any car. I've had it happen on several cars. And anyway, I found this. And it's a common problem. Your mirror's on the floor or your mirror's hanging by, in this particular case, the auto dimming wires. And it comes disconnected from the windshield. So today we're going to put it back on and uh, I'm just going to... A lot of people know how to do it, but I'm going to uh, show you how I do it. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do, and I think you saw it on the intro, is you want to know where... Hang on. You want to know where this little metal piece goes, because that's the part that's going to actually adhere to the windshield. And you want to know what its orientation. So what I do is I go on the outside of the glass, and you can see it in this picture here, and I just take a Sharpie and I draw the outline of where the glue was, or if the glue is left on the uh, metal piece, I mark, you can obviously always, almost always see where it was on the window in some manner. Uh, but anyway, I mark that on the outside of the windshield so that I know where to glue that little metal piece back in. So I have a reference as to where to glue it. And now we're going to remove the glue. I've already started to uh, do that here, but on this car it's extremely thick. So I'm going to have to put the camera down while I do it. Okay, in the case of this mirror, uh, I took a razor blade and I scraped off the uh, existing adhesive. Now I have the reference as to where I can uh, put the piece back. The next thing we're going to do, and I'll do it off camera as well, likely, is uh, clean this with, a, with no, at least 91%. I mean, I, I prefer 91% alcohol. It's not supposed to leave a residue. Uh, just make sure the glass is nice and clean, and then we'll get to gluing it back up there. Okay, here's our 91% alcohol. It's not an advertisement for CVS by any means, but anyway, uh, I use 91% alcohol for a lot of things in the model railroad stuff we do. Uh, we also happen to sell the super glue, so I have super glue on the counter all the time. However, you could use super glue out of a tube or uh, the gel super glue, anything but the really super thin because it'll just run down the windshield. So you've got to get something that'll. Uh, um, kind of stay in place while you uh, put the piece of metal up there. I also wanted to mention that when, once you get the little piece of metal out of there that the, wind, that the uh, mirror fits onto, you really need to clean the back of that real well with the razor blade and the 91% alcohol as well, and then don't touch the back of it until you're ready to put it up there. Okay, I was also going to mention that once this... Uh, the mirror falls off, if the mount falls off the glass, um, generally you have some kind of idea as to how it attaches on. Uh, a lot of them have a set screw that you just unscrew, whether it be an Allen screw or, you know, flat blade screwdriver, whatever it is. But this particular model has, this Buick has two tabs here and here, and then your, your metal piece is contained in a, in a little housing. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stick a couple of uh, screwdrivers up those holes right there to open those up to remove the, uh, the metal piece for re-gluing. Okay, I've cleaned off the back surface of my mount and I've got a uh, paper towel, any kind of paper towel. And I've put alcohol on it, the 91%, and I'm going to really clean off the back of this. I've already used the razor blade on it, and I'm cleaning the, cleaning the back of it now with alcohol very thoroughly. Move the towel once in a while. Make sure you don't get your fingers on there. And now I can look across the surface and see that it's very shiny and very smooth, no residue on it. And now I'm going to stick it face down on the dash and I'm going to fold over my towel now to a point where I haven't uh, used the towel before and we are going to clean our 
spot on the windshield up here. And I think because I had had my fingers on it, I'm going to put some more alcohol on there and use a different spot on the towel and re-clean it. And then we'll pick up uh, putting the glue on. Okay, I've put some new alcohol on the towel and changed spots on the towel to some place that I haven't used. And I'm going to... I wiped it with the alcohol and I'm going to dry that off a little bit. And I'm going to let that cleaned spot on the windshield sit for a few minutes, as well as the metal piece. And then we're going to put some glue on it. I'm going to stick it up there and hold it until it stays by itself. Then we're going to let it dry for about 15 minutes. I know super glue is supposed to be extremely fast, but we want to make sure the catalytic action takes place and that the thing is secure. Okay, now uh, I'm going to have to tilt this up a little bit and it's going to be kind of glary, but I'm going to uh, put some super glue, put the super glue on uh, the surface of the metal and I'm going to work my way around and I'm going to stay about an eighth of an inch outside the edge of the, uh, or in from the edge of the uh, metal, like so. Just because when I put it up there, the product is going to squish out and we don't want it to get anywhere where we're going to have to actually stick the mirror on. So, let me pick up the camera here. And finding my reference spot, I'm going to push, push it in place. And it has a tendency to slide around a little bit, which is okay. And then I'm going to hold it there. And I'm looking down the center line of the car to make sure that it's relatively square. Or, how should I say it, in parallel with the uh, center line of the car. And I'm giving it a little bit of push just because I want to squish that material out to the outer edge. And if I hold it here for about 30 seconds to a minute, it'll stay. And then, like I say, then we're going to let it sit there and dry for a little bit of time. A lot of times on these new cars, you don't have, uh, on, on newer cars, you don't have these falling off the window. Uh, generally, the heat adhesive is so good and the surfaces are so flat that the adhesion is really really good and if you try and get one of these off the windshield you'll generally break the windshield but I don't know what kind of glue they used on this from the factory um, but whatever it was let go so now uh, it's up there I'm gonna let it sit for a while and we're gonna try and come and reinstall our bracket Okay, and here we are in this particular mirror since it had a compass and the auto dimming and all that. We had a lot of wires back here. I uh, had to get all that plugged in. And then the, uh, the base here just kind of slid down and snapped on. Uh, yours may slide down and have a, have a set screw in it. We've all kind of covered that already. But here it is, reinstalled, and it seems to be hanging in there. We'll find out. If it doesn't work, you can repeat the process. The products that to do it are, <coughs> excuse me, relatively inexpensive. And it's not very time-consuming. I think I've been at this for about 15 minutes. So, anyway, that's it. Okay, on the, and then when you uh, get around to it on the outside of your windshield where you made your mark with your Sharpie, uh, you can just go back in with alcohol the same alcohol you used on the inside and wipe that right off of course my car's a filthy mess because I haven't cleaned it since we came back from Albuquerque but nevertheless that's how you get your uh, index mark off the outside okay everybody when I came out here to uh, do this little project uh, I, I thought you know I can whip this out in a couple of minutes 
a little bit more difficult on this car because of the gadgets and probably some of the newer cars there's probably a lot of gadgets but on most cars it's a relatively simple thing but I thought you know there's probably people out there that may not know how to do it and anyway it's just like all the videos that I do this is my way um, I'm not trying to tell you that you may not want to go to the store and buy some special glue but the, I can almost assure you that the special glue is the same thing that you could pick up anywhere so that being said I hope you enjoyed uh, the video and I hope it helps you out and as usual thanks for watching <laughs>